Chris and I are filming right now is pretty interesting. This tree is producing these really bizarre looking yellow uh, projections. And I don't know if it's a fungus or if it's a fruit produced by the tree. But in any case, we see something really cool. We discovered that these yellow bulbs serve as food to a never before seen caterpillar. Where this discovery gets even stranger is that the caterpillars have evolved a special organ to secrete their own nectar, which attracts ants who happily serve as their personal bodyguards in exchange for the sugary meal. If you look closely, you can see the ant drumming on the caterpillar's back. The caterpillar then secretes a drop of nectar to appease the ant. These caterpillars in the family Lysinidae have what's known as the dorsal nectary organ, which produces sugars and amino acids that play critical roles in ant-caterpillar symbiosis. After some research, it turns out that the yellow bulbs are a rare flowering parasitic plant, belonging to the family Apodanthaceae. There's not a whole lot known about this unusual parasite, which spends most of its time living inside the bark of its host plant, and then bursts out once a year to flower. In any case, the caterpillars seem to love feeding on these yellow bulbs. We caught a photo of an adult butterfly which landed on this same tree. It has a distinct yellow spot on the wing. Does this remind you of anything? To us, the yellow spot appears to resemble the yellow bulbs, and lends further support to the idea of a long-term evolutionary relationship between this butterfly and the parasitic plant. Although this butterfly was described nearly 150 years ago, we knew very little about its biology until now. We went back a few months later to investigate this further, but found that the parasitic plant and the caterpillars were all gone, leaving so many questions left unanswered. But with this new observation, we can start to learn more about this complex relationship in the Amazon rainforest. There's still so many fascinating things that go unnoticed out there, and we need more people just like you to come out and make discoveries of your own. If you'd like to plan your own expedition to the Amazon, you can go check out perunature.com.